here uh, just after UFC on Fox 2 press conference with Mark Munoz. Mark, can you, what can you tell us a little bit about your upcoming match with Chael Sonnen? It's going to be a tough fight. Uh, Chael Sonnen, he, he's an exciting fighter and much more. He's a more witted, quick-witted and funny person too. Um, he's entertaining, man. And um, when, I, when we step inside the octagon, you're going to see a lot of action. Uh, you're going to see a high pace fight. He comes in shape every every time. I come in shape every time. So you're not going to see any resting going on in there. You're going to see five minutes, 15, 10 minutes of action going on. Whenever that, whenever the bell sounds, you're going to see just fists flying, knees going, and feet coming at people's faces and bodies. So. A lot, a lot of uh, people reference today with a lot of, you know, with a high level of wrestling that's going on in these matchups. But you know, more and more, you're getting getting to be known as a high level striker. Yeah. What do you think has to happen for you to shake that kind of wrestler, uh, you know, being known as a wrestler? Um, you know what? I, I it really, I think people are starting to see like people. Are, people think I'm a I'm a striker. Mm -hmm. People think I'm a wrestler. People. I think if the more you confuse people, the better mixed martial arts you are. You know, because like I, I am known for my wrestling, but I've I've knocked some people out. You know, um, in a fantastic fashion. Fashion. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But I think you got to work on your weaknesses to make them your strength, and that's what I. That's what I've been trying to work on is my stand-up, my jiu-jitsu game. Even, have, even if you haven't seen my submissions, I do have some submissions, you know, but, you know, I love knocking people out, you know, and that's, and that's what you see. So, but I work continually to improve my weaknesses and refine my strengths always. And uh, with uh, UFC moving over to Japan uh, and kind of talks about going into the Philippines, wh where do you think uh, MMA's place and the UFC's place is in the Asian market? And where do you want to be in all that? Oh, I want to be the front runner in, in the Asian market. Um, I'm, I'm an Asian. You know, I, uh, you know, I grew up that way and, and I love Asian people. I love Asian food and I love everything Asian, you know, and uh, I, I definitely want to be in the forefront of that. Um, Asia is known for martial arts, uh, and it's been a part of our culture for a long time. And you know, for me to be in this, on this platform, and and for me to be able to go to Japan, I would love to just go to Japan, and um, you know, fight there or just go there and, and, and represent, you know, mixed martial arts in the UFC, um, just to see the excitement um, that people have for the sport. Uh, you know, I think I think um, Asia is a huge market that the UFC needs to tie into. How do you feel about you know previously uh, Japan was the big market and you know way with the Bushido and the home of martial arts. Now the UFC has really predominantly moved things over to kind of a yeah, a, a different uh, profile and you know mixed martial arts is not what it used to be in Asia. How do you feel about the decline over there and the rise here? Um, yeah, you know it's kind of. You know, it's Japan, that's actually where where it kind of started almost, you know. You saw, you know, with um, with Pride, you know, how it was just so popular out there. And, and it was even more popular out there than it was here. Um, but then with the UFC taking, taking the reins, they actually made it more into a spectacle, you know. And, and they're trying to mainstream it and put it in. A lot of people's households, and I think in Asia they were just they were keeping it more sacred, kind of, because that's that's how martial arts is viewed. It's kind of sacred almost, and and that's that was their that was their kind of view uh, on it. But the UFC actually took it a different way, and now it's kind of rising that way when it comes to business. But it doesn't it doesn't um, you know it, it, it's the same thing though yeah. you know um, it's still you know with Japan it's still gonna be awesome out there there's awesome fighters and it's always gonna be um, a big market so um, so regardless of the decline it's still big out there well good luck uh, we're all supporting you and I'm sure you're gonna do fantastic Thank